Let's pray. Father, eternal King of glory, we thank you, we adore you, and your name be glorified for what you are doing in our life and what you are doing presently. Lord, you said in your world that you have the power to perform miracles, healings, and we know that it's through you that whoever volunteers to do your work, you empower them with the Holy Spirit to do the same thing. Because you said in your word that if you can follow me, you will even do more greater than what I did. Lord, we are going to your world. Take absolute control in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He has the O O O O. In his son, he has the O O O O. In his son, he has the O O O O. In his son, he has the O O. In his son, he has the O O O. In his son, he has the O O O. In his son, he has the O O O O. In his son, he has the O O. In his own. We are going to read from the book of St. Luke, the ninth chapter. Divine healing and miracles through the power of God and through the anointing of Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. Then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. I sent them to praise the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. I said unto them, take nothing for your journey, neither steps, nor script, neither bread, Neither money, neither have to cause a peace. And wherever house ye enter into, there about and there's the path. And whoever, soever will not receive you, when ye go out of that city, shake out the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them. And they departed and went through the towns, praising the gospel and healing everywhere. Now Aaron the Tetras heard of all that was done by him, and he was perplexed, because that it was said of some John was rising from the dead. And some that Elias has appeared, and of others, the word of the prophets has risen again. And Aaron said, John have I beheaded, but who is this of whom I hear such things? And he desired to see him. And the apostles, when they were returned, told him all that were had done, and he took them and went aside privately into a desert place belonging to the city called Bethsaida. And the people, when they knew it, followed him, and he received them, and spake unto them the kingdom of God, and healed them that had need of healing. And when they began to wear away, then came the twelve and said unto him, Send the multitude away, 
that they may go into the towns and country round about and lodge and get fish oils, for we are in a desert place. But he said unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they said, We have no more but five loaves and two fishes. Expect ye go and buy meat for all these people. But there were about 5,000 men, and he said to his disciples, Make them sit down by fifties in a company. And they did so, and made them to sit down. When he took the five loaves and the two fishes, and look upon unto heaven, he blessed them, and break, and gave to the disciples to set before the multitude. And they did eat, and were all filled, and they were taken up of fragments that remained to them 12 baskets. And it came to pass, as he was alone praying, his disciples were with him. And he asked them, saying, Who said the people that I am? They were answering, shirt, John the Baptist? But some say Elias, and others say that one of the old prophets is rising again. He said unto them, But whom ye say that I am? Peter answering said, The Christ of God. And he straightly charged him. And commanded to tell no man that thing. Saying, the Son of Man must suffer many things. And be rejected of the elders. And the sheep priests and scribes. And be slain and be raised the third day. And he said to them all. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. For what a man advantage if he gain the whole world and lose himself or being cast away. For whosoever was about shave of me of my works, of him said the Son of Man. Be ashamed, where is a cup in his own glory, and his fathers and of the holy angels. For I tell you of truth, there be some standing here, which are not takes of death, but did I say till they say the kingdom of God. And it came to pass. But eight days after the saints, he took Peter and John and James and went up into a mountain to pray. As he prayed, the fashion of the countenance was altered and his raiment was 
white and glistering. And behold, they had talked with him to men, which were Moses and Elias, who prepare in glory and spake of his disease which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. But after the art that were with him were everywhere sleep, and they were awake, but they saw his glory, and two men that stood with him. And it came to pass, as they were departed from him, Peter said unto Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here, and let us make three tabernacles, one all for thee, and one for Moses, and one for Elias, not knowing what he said. Why it was fake, there came a cloud and overshadowed them. And they feared and they entered into the cloud. There came a voice out of the cloud saying, This is my beloved son. Hear him. And when the voice was passed, Jesus was found alone. And they kept it close. And they told no man those days of any of those things which they had seen. And it came to pass that on the next day, when they were come down from the hill, most people met him. And behold, a man of the company cried out, saying, Master, I beseech thee, look upon my son, for he is my only child. And lo, a sprig taketh him, and he suddenly cried out, and it cheered him that he formed, formed again, and bruised him hardly departed from him. And I beseech the disciples to cast him out and they could not and Jesus has said O oh, faithful and passive generation how long shall I be with you and suffer you bring thy son hither as he was yet a coming the devil threw him down and tear him. And Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit and hid his side and delivered him again to his father. And they were all amazed at the mighty power of God. But while they were wondering everyone at all things which Jesus said, he said unto his disciple, Let this say sink down into your heads, for the Son of Man shall be delivered unto the hands of men. But they understood not the saying, and it was him from them that perceived it not, and they feared to ask him, of that saying. Then there arose a reasoning among them, which of them should be the greatest? And Jesus 
perceive in the thoughts of their heart. Took a child and set him by him. And Jesus said unto them, Whosoever shall receive this son in my hand, name receive me, and whosoever shall receive me, receive him that sent me. For he that is at least among you all, the same side be great. And Jesus answered and said, and John answered and said, Master, we saw one casting devils in thy name, and we forbid him, because he followed not with us. And Jesus said unto him, Forbid him not, for he that is not against us is for us. And it came to pass, when the time was come, that he should be received up. He steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem. And sent messengers before his face. And they went and entered into a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him. And when they did not receive him, because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. And when he decided James and John saw this, they said, Lord, we that we come on fire to come down from heaven and consume them even as Elias did. But he turned and rebuked them and said, You know what manner of spirit you are of? For the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And they went to another village. And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee, whosoever thou goest. And Jesus said unto him, Folks, six half holes and bears of the hair half nets, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. And he said to another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Jesus said unto him, let the dead bury their dead, but go and preach the kingdom of God. And another said unto the Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go, bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. And Jesus said unto him, No man have been put his hand to the plough, and looking back, is not fed for the kingdom of God. God bless his word. Amen. In this biblical passage, we derive a lot. When Jesus was on this planet, our miracles were performed in different dimensions. Miracles of healings, a lot of miracles of the possessed, even the dead. Remember Lazarus? The dead man of the four days. Lazarus 
When Lazarus was sick, they were looking for Jesus so that he would pray for him. They knew quite a right that Jesus Christ had been a powerful son of the Most High. That if Jesus could, by that, at, at that period, if Jesus, let's say Jesus was around, nothing could happen to Lazarus to be demised. But Jesus knew everything. He stepped aside. Long didn't surveys. When Lazarus eventually died, then he went there. What? There was a miracle, the greatest miracle of that generation. That was what Jesus was preparing to let it happen, which it happened. Then he called on Jesus. And Jesus Christ went there. And the sister of the dead man said, Lord, I didn't be you were around when this guy was alive or was sick. You should have prayed and uh, he should have uh, survived. But now a dead man for four days discomposed body, the grave. Then Jesus uttered the word, said, Well, he was there that time, but he will be alive. Oh, the woman said, well, we believe in the resurrection of the last day. Because this guy already dead for four days, discomposed. No remedy. Uh, Jesus looked at her. I'm talking about miracles, divine miracles. Jesus said, well, at that period, could you please... Aaron, let me know where the body was being laid. Then she said, well, it was over there about four days, discomposed. Oh, no more miracle could wake that guy. As soon as that, uh, it's a fresh, it's a way, maybe it happened a day to have been better. But now four days, discomposed in the graveyard. Jesus said, could you please let me know where you put the body. And he said, okay, right, master. Let's go. Jesus followed them. When they reached the area, tomb area, then they pointed it out right there. Jesus said, yeah. The Bible said, Jesus wept. The shortest fast in the Bible. Jesus wept. Why? Because the devil killed Lazarus. And Jesus was full of compassion because Lazarus was his friend. He knew Lazarus quite all right, might be the soul is, by that time was already in, in, in heaven, but he wanted him to come back to life. He does discomposed the body. We people thought it could not materialize. But Jesus made it to happen. Why? Jesus looked up to heaven. Then he prayed to Father. That, Father, I know you have been with me. He was praying to God Almighty. That this Lazarus that has already dead for four days, which has been beyond human <laughs> imagination to take him back to life. <laughs> but I know you can't do anything, Lord. I want you to call him back to life. The father, because of the people around me, can you please let this dead man of four days come back to life? After the prayer, he gave glory unto God Almighty. That was a great miracle that happened. The Bible said, he said, he cried aloud, Lazarus! And the Bible said, the dead man of all days came out, burned as the burned dead him when he died. He said, lose him. And they lose him. Four days. That was a recreation. That's recreation in the graveyard by God. Because that four days, the dead body had already been discomposed, became wara and rotten. But God made another recreation as he did in the Garden of Eden, 
where he brought our forefather from the dust. And Lazarus came out. What's a miracle? That was the greatest miracle. Greatest miracle because not a sick, not a possessed, not a disabled, dead, not only dead, only one day, dead for four days. Glory be to God in the highest. And Jesus gave the disciples the power and authority to do what? To cast devils. In first one of the Luke chapter 9, then cha next chapter, say he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cast out diseases. And send them to praise the kingdom of God to the sick. Yeah, so there are ministers all over the world to do that assignment because he had already gone over the air, but he sent down the power here on the day of the Pentecost. You can read the book, second book of Corinthians 15. First Corinthians chapter 15, go and read on your own. The day of the Pentecost, where he sent Holy Spirit to the disciples and everybody were hearing their languages. Different types of spirit. Oh, that was a miracle that day. That what Jesus did. And then he gave them power to do what? To preach. Through preaching, you follow them. Signs and wonders. This has been happening in our administrations all around. We would like you to share the benefit of this divine miracle through Jesus Christ using Jesus like us. It's his work. And uh, he can still do the same thing he's doing that day. He can do it right now. If only you will obey and listen and have the faith that he will do it. Because if you don't have the faith that he will do it, he won't do anything. But if you have the faith that he will do it, he will surely do it. And whosoever call the name of God, he will never disappoint him. You see, there was another miracle here. When there was no food, Jesus has praised. And people were angry. They were hungry, no food. They just asked disciples, do you have anything here? They said they have two fish and five loaves. It's okay. Right? What did he do? There was no way they could multiply those two fish and five loaves. What? Jesus had to go back to Father. And what did he do? He had to pray. He had the faith that if he prayed to his Father, Almighty God, he would answer. He has never failed him. And he lifted up two fishes, five loaves. He said, Father, may you bless this and multiply this. The Bible said that people had to their satisfaction. And there, five loaves and two fishes. Well, after people might have loaded, they had to their satisfaction. And 12 baskets were still left behind. Just imagine, upon the multitude, to a basket still left behind. That was miracle, divine miracle of God. Beyond human imagination. He can do that for you. If only you have the faith and you believe him that he will, he will do it. You have to have the faith that somebody created you. And he has been by, behind you. And he has been walking towards your progress, towards your head. Your movement, your endeavors in life. Remember your creator. He's right there. He has never forgotten everybody. Anything created. He knows every single creation. See? And uh, you see, the power of God. There was, in the book we read right here, 
Jesus was just going one day and somebody bring a child. This child was possessed. It was possessed. And uh, the Bible said that any time this problem came, the spirit came to this guy, he will just suddenly crowd and continue tearing himself and brush himself and gnash his teeth. But one day they met Jesus, the finisher of our salvation. And Jesus prayed for this child and uh, decided what? The unclean strips left him. In the book of uh, Luke, the next chapter, the 41, and Jesus answering, O oh, faithful and passive generation, how long can I be with you and suffer you? Bring thy son hither. Because Jesus said he should bring that child here. And then in verse 42, and he said he was yet a coming. The devil trod him down and tear him. And Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit and he the child and delivered him again to his father. That was another miracle there. There are lots of miracles in the Bible which Jesus performed. But we extract few part of it just as testimony for you to know that the same Jesus see have the same power to do for you, for me, for everybody. Hmm. And Jesus has commanded that we should just obey his commandments and his words because he's so much like everybody that is why I say, come unto me, you that are heaven, label, uh, heaven laden. I will give you rest. Jesus, the Redeemer, he doesn't want anybody to suffer at all. It's only we can just make sure we surrender ourselves to him. Then when you surrender yourself to him, then he will surely assist. Because if you, among your siblings, the siblings you are having, anyone that associates himself or herself to you, close to you, most, will benefit tremendously. That the one that doesn't even know what they care and does things on his or her own way. But the one that is, that is associates himself or herself, close to either mama, mama or dad, will really benefit. The same thing God wants us to do, that we should be Close, close all the time. Close in prayer, in meditation, reading the word of God. Close, close. He wants us to be close, be close to creator. Close to the divine inspiration. And you will surely testify. For everybody, let us make sure that we surrender ourselves to the will of Almighty. He will never disappoint you. Amen. Jesus said, the Son of Man, I'm reading verse 56 of the Luke 5, chapter 9, verse 56. For the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's life, but to save them. To what? To save them, not to destroy. To save. That is what he came for. Why did Jesus say that as he came to save? When he was about to carry the, divine com the great commission of the redemption, despite that he had the power to deliver himself, when the time came after the last prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane, then they came to him. There he surrendered himself to be arrested because of uh, the redemption assignment. Despite all the divine power in, inside him, he only exercised the last power and surrender everything. How? When they came to him in the Garden of Gethsemane, 
They came with different types of ammunition for only one person, right? Multitude of people. After Judas Iscariot had already showed him true kissing, he said, Who are you looking for? He had been in my previous administration. He said, Jesus of Nazareth. Here I am. That was, I, I was just trying to extract that statement. Here I am. See, here I am. I am. The name of Almighty. The whole fat and flat. At that period in time, it was to be myself or yourself. Without faith, no faith. That was, the, I don't know, that was an atmosphere to escape. He just to jump on, on top of them and run away, finish. But no, he said, get up. The same question again. Looking for me? Yes. He surrendered himself. That was the, he only exercised that power. Just to know that they had no power to arrest him. He only surrendered himself just for the human race to have the salvation, to have it in abundance. So anybody who can be able to believe him, run to him, call him, associate himself to him, surely eternity is sure for such a fellow. Right now, we'd like you to join us For this crucial hour, full of miracles and testimonies, it's not a joke. Free. The admission is there. Free. The salvation is what? Free. There's no charge. Jesus said, freely, you receive, freely, give. At 300 West Brea Cliff, Bolingbrook, Illinois, there's a time on Sundays sometimes, 3 to 4 30. Kindly join us for spiritual and miracle hour. The admission is purely free. God has been performing miracles and wonders in our ministry all over around the world. You may be the last one, or somebody you will bring along with you. Try. And see, the, the, the lame, the blind, the sick, there's not none of them that beyond Jesus to heal. He had been doing it, he's doing it, and we do it again. Try and see, Jesus saves and Jesus heals. Remain blessed in Jesus' name. May the Spirit of Lord Jesus Christ and the anointing of the Holy Spirit remain and bow with every one of you now and forevermore. Amen. For, content, for more information, you need to contact us. The address right on the screen. Remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.